those who don't know me, I'm uh, Stevie Antonio, filmmaker from uh, Sweden. And uh, I've uh, taught before at camps, but it's been photography. So this is the first time taught, teaching Jiu-Jitsu as well. I've uh, I taught like 10 photography classes. Uh, when we did in 2019, we did the documentary. And um, yeah, I've been doing Jiu-Jitsu at least for like 11, 12 years, something like that. And uh, ever since I started, I've always been kind of one of the smaller guys in the gym, right? So that made me gravitate more towards guard play and back takes, because that's the kind of game that fits a small person, right? And uh, yeah, recently I discovered that doesn't have to be the case, and uh, now I like to sit on people too, so. I, uh, <laughs> I thought I'd, uh, yeah, make this class small guy pressure to kind of encourage smaller people to play more on top, and make you realize that it's actually fun to, to be on top and make people think that you weigh more than you actually do, okay? And uh, there's not that many big guys here, but of course this will work for you too. Just be careful that you don't break someone, okay? <laughs> so, uh, let's see, who can I borrow? Can you do it? So, start on uh, side control. Let's just talk a little bit first on how we get to mount, okay? How I like to get here. So, of course, there's many ways to get here, but I like to make sure that I have a good position before I even go to mount, okay? So what I like to do is go from here. I kind of push the elbow up a little bit and then follow up with my chest, all right? Now I'm gonna start moving my weight up towards his face, okay? And then just grab his head, all right? So from here, I just go. This. Once he's here, he's, I'm gonna make sure that this is stuck here. He's not gonna pull his elbow down again, all right? So once we get here, it doesn't really matter how strong they are. Everyone who gets here is kind of weak, all right? So this is gonna be way different than, for example, if I just go to mount and I'm here. So if you just start to move a little bit, this is way harder already, okay? Compared to go here. Move over. Can you move a little bit? And this is really easy to, to hold as well. All right? You feel the difference, right? So I just grab here and I pull this head just a little bit. I don't want to be too mean just yet. All right? So we're here and I kind of keep my hips down a little bit, knees out, feet in. Yeah? And I stay a little bit towards one side. It's easier for him to bridge me if I'm kind of in the center, so I always stay kind of a little bit off to the side, all right? So let's just start there. We pair up, we go here, get the elbow up a little bit, because if he, he's really tight here, it can be really difficult just to kind of move it here. But usually you can get it up just a little bit. Yeah, you can resist a little bit. Yeah, move up a little bit. And then I go down behind my chest, and then you put your weight on it instead. All right, so you keep moving here. Get the underhook here as well. Move over to mount here, all right? Any questions? All right, let's try it. We're not gonna clap, just go. <laughs> <laughs> So of course, if he really insists on keeping this elbow down here, it's gonna be difficult for me to get it up, right? Especially if he spins priest class, okay? But I could just do other things, right? And I'm pretty sure he's gonna get his elbow up, right? <laughs> and now, as soon as he's, he has a little bit of space, it's kinda of easy for me to just keep going with it, all right? And it, it's not really important that you do it like step one, two, three. Just, if you just get it up here somehow, it's good. All right, so it doesn't really matter how you do it. You can do it like from here, move back, this. I just want to create space in between his elbow and his hip, all right? And one is really good, two is even better. So if I go here, it doesn't matter if he's like 120 kilos muscle, he's gonna be pretty weak, all right? So we'll just keep going a little bit more from here, all right? 
And the goal is to get him, get his arm, not so much here. This is good if you're going for like a back take or something, the gift wrap. But if you get it here, it's easy just to drop it down a little bit more. So right next to his ear, like this. Drop it down, grab the head a little bit. And now you just keep this pressure and get the other on the hook if you, if you can. Or just here is fine if you keep this down. You can still mount, all right? And I like to uh, kind of flick my foot outwards a little bit like this, because it's harder for him to catch it, as opposed to me just going over like this. He might catch it like this, all right? But we're gonna go over some troubleshooting later on as well. So from here, go like this, all right? So once we get to mount, of course he's gonna fight his ass off to get out of here, right? But now, I want you guys to just keep this and have the person on bottom just try and fight you off a little bit, okay? So we stay off to one side, we keep this, you can kind of enforce this a little bit. So you can get creative with this as well. You don't have to do exactly like I do, just feel what feels right for you, all right? So move. And if I keep my chest on his face, it's even more uncomfortable, all right? So I drive my hips a little bit. If he bridges, I need to get a little bit loose and then sink back in. Alright? So bridge again. If I'm sit, he's gonna I'm gonna follow. See? So if I'm all I, if all I'm doing is driving forward here and he bridges, then I'm stuck to him, right? But if he bridges and I get loose a little bit, I just lift my hip and then sink right back in. Alright? And I'm always kind of in his face a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Okay, any questions? So I just want you guys to try it out with a little bit of resistance, okay? Let's go, let's try it out. Again, if you have like some other way to get to mount that you really like, use it, it's fine. But this is just kind of a way that I like to use it. Um, to kind of, as soon as I get here, it's already heavy for him. And not me just getting here somehow with his elbows down. And now if he starts to fight me, it's gonna be really difficult to gain a, a dominant position, right? Whereas here, do the same thing. a lot easier, all right? So from here, I'm just gonna show you the, the choke that we're gonna work on today, and then after we'll go through some problem solving, all right? So from here, we're gonna move even more towards this side, and we're gonna open up this collar, okay? So sometimes it's like way down here, you're gonna have to grab it a little bit, just pull it up, all right? Go here. Now, I move a lot to this side, all right? So if he tries to bridge me now, it's gonna be very hard, okay? Because this side is way too far, and to this side I have a good base, okay? So with my right arm here, I just open this up, and then I start to dig in a little bit here, with my thumb in, all right? Thumb in. So I can grab here, and I'm just gonna feed it a little bit, okay? And I put my knuckles to the mat, and then I can feed it a little bit more, okay? And if he fights me here again, he starts to bridge, whatever. I can just take it easy. This is heavy, and this is kind of not very comfortable for him. What do you say? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so from here, I can start feeding it even more if I want to, okay? As long as I can keep my knuckles on the mat and have kind of a, a tight grip like this, it's not gonna be like this, right? It's gonna be a strong fist here. So we feed this in, and we're heavy on this hand, okay? So now we're on this side, but once we start to move over, we're gonna make a big circle. See his face? Now I connect my elbow, so I'm gonna let it go a little bit. Connect my elbow to his uh, chin, and then move this up a little bit and push him in to the choke, okay? So now I let go, and it does, it's not that tight. When I'm here and I push him into the choke, it's way tighter. I push him in here, and then I grab some kind of fabric here. Usually the shoulder or just the gi, 
Okay, I go here. This is tight, big circle. And this is because I want base, all right? So if he bridges me in the middle here, and I don't have a good base, he's gonna bridge me like all the way across the mat, okay? I'm gonna be here, move over. And when I get the grip, I'm gonna sink into this, <coughs> okay? So now we stop right here, but I can go all the way down here, okay? And then he's gonna tap for sure. Okay, so one more time. You can start from here, just to kind of get you comfortable with this position. Because we have a lot of other things from here as well, because his arm is very exposed. So from here, we can kind of get this out a little bit, make this loose. I just move over, grab with my thumb in. I feed this kind of deep, knuckles to the mat, big circle. Next here. <laughs> See? And I'm not even like sinking into it yet. Okay, so this is a very, very strong choke. Any questions? All right, let's try it out. Let's go. So, what I think is the most fun about this is the bigger they are, the more mean you can be, okay? <laughs> That's at least what I think, all right? And uh, if he's your friend, you might like, be a little bit nice, and if he's a really good friend, you can be not so nice, all right? But from here again, our top priority is gonna be staying on top, okay? So our top priority is not the choke here, okay? Because if I start going for the choke, kind of like haphazard, and he bridges me off, and I really get to the choke, and I try to finish it, and let's go, I'm on bottom. I worked really hard to get on top, and now I'm on bottom, so I don't want that. So if I start going for the choke, if I start going for this, and I'm here, everything feels good, I'm heavy, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get the finish. Okay, and he bridges me, I'm gonna post, okay? And I move right back in. Keep bridges, I post. Again, keep bridging. Especially when I go here, he's usually gonna bridge this way. See? And I keep this post. Okay? So my top priority is staying on top. All right, I'm never gonna commit so much to the choke that I'm gonna let him bridge me off or pull me back into the guard. Okay? So I'm staying on top at all times. And what's good about this is that if I go for this choke, once, he bridges, I post, I move back in, he bridges, I move back in, bridge, you can go harder. See, I go back, move right back in. Oh, this is a little bit loose now, I can tighten this. Move back in. See, every time he bridges now, it's gonna be slightly less. <laughs> See? So, if it takes you like, four, five, maybe six tries, that's okay, all right? So I, again, top priority is staying on top. And it's the same thing with, uh, if I go for other submissions. So we're gonna get to this a little bit later, but for example, from here, of course there's an arm bar, but never would I do this, okay? Well, rarely at least, is if he goes up, and I lose the arm bar, uh, uh, Okay, that's not good. So think of this when you're doing other things as well. That you worked hard to get here, and you want to stay on top. If you want the arm bar, fine. But finish it from here. Because if I lose it now, I'm still on top. Alright? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, I'll go over the choke one more time. If that's okay with you. <laughs> so, we're here, staying on one side. And come low here. I'm not gonna do this. I'm still on this side, but this is, uh, is not as good of a base. So I'm down low here, and it gives me a little bit more time, and this elbow is a good base, all right? So I tighten this, grab. Knuckles on the mat. So from here, it's not very tight with the choke, right? But see, he's already know that, know that this is coming. Okay, so I move over, you can bridge.
Okay, so once I get here and I kind of know that I'm about to finish him, then I can commit a little bit more to the grip and I keep my forehead on the mat as a base. So when I'm here, this is also a pretty good base. Because I'm really high up, I'm not here. Here you can still bridge me, but here not so much. Okay? So just uh let's just try it a few more times and then we'll move into some details. Go. So far, does anyone have any questions or uh, thoughts on this? <laughs> no? What were some of the problems that you kind of encountered when people started resisting? Base. Base? Did you get flipped over? Uh, really was, uh, I kind of lost the control. I was yep. focusing on, on the grip instead yep. of the Okay, yeah. So the, still, the base is the, the priority, it's staying on top, right? And uh, if he bridges me so much that I kind of have to base like this or base like this, I still move always right back to mount and then I can just keep going, all right? Unless maybe there's a match and I'm down by points or something and he bridges me and there's like three seconds left, I'm gonna keep this and try and finish him here. If this still works, it's just a little bit harder, okay? <clears throat> but usually what happens is when I start to go for this, um, usually this is the arm that's going to give me trouble, okay? Yeah, exactly. So we need to put it here or maybe even down low, down here. Yeah, so this is kind of rough for me because I'm not going to be able to move over to the other side, okay? So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my knee, punch it through here, all right? So either just on top or all the way through. This is fine as well, okay? And then I just move. Once I'm really tight on this, if he brings it back again, it's no worries. I can still move over and it's gonna be hard for him. But if he gets it kind of in the middle, in between, down here, in between his neck and my arm, then I need to go here. So I keep good base over here and then I punch this knee through, all right? The other arm as well might give you some trouble. So for here, I'm gonna use my free arm. Now, see, I, I lift my leg here. <clears throat> So I'm kind of switching back and forth because for us smaller guys, smaller people, we can't just sit on someone and be super heavy, all right? Like the heavyweights do, all right? If he was on top of me, he could just sit easy. I wouldn't be able to get out, okay? But we're here, I have to kind of switch back and forth a little bit. So if he resists with this one, the arm, just punch through with the knee. And now to deal with this one, I switch with this to get a good base towards this side. Because if he bridges me now, this way, I can keep this. All right, I'm still on top, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna go here, easy. So from here, it's gonna be, should be easy to get this a little bit tighter and then move back into where we wanna be. Okay. Um, let's talk about one more thing that you might encounter if they're Flexible, or maybe like super long, so long legs or whatever. Um, mm. I might use someone else, sorry. <laughs> Can I use you? So we're here, we're doing our thing, and sometimes they like to kind of grab around here, yeah? And then just uh, flip me over. So as long as I keep my arms and my head inside of his legs and don't, uh, let him kind of get around to this, or like catch my arms, I'm good. So if he starts going for this, I just keep on the inside. I keep my elbows tight, good base, and keep trying to get low, okay? So go again, he really goes for this. Keep low and stay on the inside, all right? Don't let him grab one of, even if he grabs one of your arms, it's gonna be trouble, all right? Sometimes they're so flexible, they're gonna go grab around all the way, but then you just kind of dive through it and go low again. All right, um, so one more time with the kind of troubleshooting here. So if he, he grabs with this arm, yeah, this is, or kind of in between. This is usually what happens. So we'll just go like this, yeah. So here, so this is gonna give me trouble. So I kind of just punch my knee through, make sure that I'm kind of clear to keep going. See, I can pin this arm with my elbow 
and still keep making this tighter. Make it tighter, make it tighter, and now I start going. Does that make sense? Any questions? All right, let's try it out. <clears throat> so, again, we're gonna stay on top, but if there's any other option, that option is taking the back, okay? No other option, we're not gonna get uh, bridged off, we're not going to get pulled back into the guard. We're going to stay on top or we're going to take the back. That's kind of the, the only two things that are okay, all right? So once we're here um, and we feel like maybe he starts turning a little bit too much, sit like this, see? This usually happens. And maybe I wasn't quick enough to kind of get the other arm, but if this happens, I just go and grab this one and I keep this here, right? I kind of get a gift grab, grab here, and now I already have this hook on one side. So I'm gonna to move towards that side. I'm gonna put this, my knee, behind his uh, back and start turning like this, right? This is also good, right? Again. So since I'm already pushing his kind of face towards this side, uh, what happens is usually they kind of try to enforce that and move more towards this side. When I go over, yeah. So I kind of follow with my hip a little bit, move this down. Sorry, scooch over a little bit. So I kind of move here, get the gift wrap, grab my wrist, and now my knee is behind his back. This is my hook already, right? So I'm going to move towards that side. Keep this tight. Whoa. Right? It's always when we get back, we need this hook and we're going to be on that side. I usually like the half back, but I don't have time to really get into that. So just get here and then you can play around on your own or ask me later in the week. Okay? So one more time. So say we're going for the choke. He starts turning and move over. Get the gift strap. Move around. Any questions on that? No? All right, let's try it. I'm uh, just going to go over two uh, small more things. Can I use you, Felix? So... I'm gonna give you just one more option to kind of uh, play around with the, the heavy mount for a small guy, all right? And that's the S mount. So especially if I get this, all right? What's good is when I, I'm here, I can put all my weight on his ribs here, all right? And this is gonna be heavy even if you're light, okay? You just go here. And then you have plenty of options with arm bars, wrist locks. I like this one a lot. Here you can stay on top, right? You can try this, and if it doesn't work, it's fine, I'm still on top, right? See, so, wrist locks as well. Um, so, also quite easy to kind of move back and forth between these positions. And it's really hard for him to do anything once he's here. Because, again, any position, so now we've done the mount, but if it's side control, the back, uh, standing, if, if you get someone here, you're gonna be way stronger, right? Um, so the second thing I wanna, just go over a detail on the how to actually finish the choke because it looks really good and kind of those are the only two major issues that we have to deal with sometimes these the arms defending them um, but once we do get here I have the choke and I start to go for it so I don't go for anything until I'm kind of here now I know that okay if he's not bridging like crazy I might start going for it and I'm gonna start really really slow so I go from 1%, 2, 3, 4, and then all the way up to 100, all right? That's gonna be the heaviest, okay? That's gonna be the, the worst for him. Because if I just go here and go to like a 80% right away, then I'm gonna get tired as well. And he's gonna notice that I'm really struggling to get it, and he might fight through it, okay? But if I'm here, 
I kind of go super slow. This is still super easy for me. Really easy. That was only like 15%, right? And I can still keep going. Um, so, what time is it? All right, let's just uh, play around a little bit more with the S mount and then maybe finish the choke one or two more times and then we bring back in. One or two more times. One more thing about kind of the, the mentality of staying on top and the priorities there, like when I, I finish, I want to finish on top. Same thing with uh, when I play guard. I, I play guard to sweep the guy, not to, to finish. Because usually if I go for a triangle or something and it's not like spot on, and if he escapes, he's gonna pass my guard and I'm uh, pretty much fucked, okay? So usually I have that same mentality with playing guard as well. Is there any like quick questions on what we did today? Otherwise, uh, feel free to grab me the other days and I'll, uh, I do most of the open mats, so. Just grab me anytime, okay? Yeah. It's not about what we do. What's the advantage of the half uh, It controls the hip a little bit more. You have, if you have both hooks, mm -hmm. compared to kind of going over and underneath, this kind of locks the hip a little bit more with the half back. That's why I like it. Yeah. All right, can we grab a quick picture? All right, let's just gather up here.